you have no mm -hmm. bills most of the time you have no children you have no husband yeah serve god just don't condemn yourself if god is on your side no age limit can stop you hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm joined here with my lovely friend shika Hello. she is an upcoming youtuber youtuber and um, i will link her youtube down below in the description box make sure you subscribe to her yeah. today we're back with the radiate series um and we are going to be talking about the issue slash topic of being too young to serve god we will also be covering um tips on being too old to serve god and how it's basically a lie i will link the first video above so that you can understand what i'm actually talking about yeah so the issue is being too young to or feeling like you're too young to serve god to use your talents to use your gifts um to just get involved as a christian and um yeah i'm just gonna allow ashika to talk about her experience of how she felt too young to do something so i was the president of history and fellowship society at our university and i was chosen as president when i was 19. Um, at first i was quite reluctant because being 19 at university i didn't really see many people serving god or even being in a leadership role and um, i even questioned god like why me what can i possibly offer um, at times throughout the year I did condemn myself um, especially because more than half of my committee are older than me so when it came to making decisions and you know delegating I would often think they perhaps wouldn't listen to me or would um, respect my decision because you know what can this younger person possibly know or what can she do um, but I learned a lot through that cool so yeah that's just a bit of her background i'll tell you a bit of my background um i was a worship leader on the same committee on not the same committee the committee before yeah. i was the worship leader um i'd never been a worship well not really i've never really been a worship leader before i was 20 i think was it 20? 19, 20 19 20 yeah 19 or 20 i should probably know um i was 19 or 20 um and half of my choir was older than me um, so again, I had the same thoughts like, oh, am I too young to be a worship leader? Um, everyone else I'm leading is older than me. Should I be in this role? Um, thoughts of insecurity that just get get into your mind and try to control you and stop you from doing what you're meant to do. So um, yeah, I ended up doing it anyway and I did it well. Thank you, God. Uh, cool. So we're just going to talk about different scriptures um, and basically the rules from Iraq that we use during our time on committee, during our time as just young people serving God that helped us to not feel those feelings of insecurity and helped us to fully grab um, the roles that we had and to just roll with it basically. So yeah, you can start Ashika. What did you use to help you? So one particular verse I love is 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 12 and it says, don't let anyone think less of you because you are young. Be an example to all believers in what you say, in the way you live, in your love, your faith and your purity. Um, this is Paul speaking to Timothy and essentially what I got from that is that regardless of my age, it doesn't matter how, how old I am, that God wants me to set the example. So with me setting the example, even older people can see Christ in me and follow through with that as well. Um, Another that's one. good that's good yeah i'm just going to touch on that um i use that verse too to help me um i mean it's very clear that you don't have to look down on yourself when you're mm -hmm. young if god has called you to do something you should do it mm -hmm. irrespective of whatever yeah, excuse yeah. you want to give whether you're 90 whether you're 15 whether you're 12 it doesn't matter god used so many people in the bible um that were so young and they did amazing things and if they had looked down at, at their own age and thought oh i'm too young to do this i'm too too young to pursue this dream too young to whatever do you think that we would have all of the stories that we have now in the bible no we wouldn't um the next one that inspired me is when god calls jeremiah and he says to jeremiah i knew you before i formed you in your mother's womb before you were born i set you apart and appointed you as my prophet to the nations and jeremiah says I can't speak for I'm too young and the Lord says don't say I'm too young for you must go wherever I send you and say whatever I tell you so when God has placed an assignment of our on our life 
we don't have the excuse of saying oh but god i'm too young because he's the one who equips us god won't call you because you're qualified but he'll call you and then qualify you so <laughs> So with us being young people, God calls us and then equips us. It's like on the job training. So when I was the president, God had equipped me and prepared me for what he had called me to do on campus and in the university as well. Exactly. And, and God used a 19 year old to be president for a whole academic year. I saw they were doing <laughs> great things and that's irrespective of their ages. They could have yeah. been first years, they could have been final years. What he starts with you, he will finish with you. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter how old you are. You know, we all know the story of David and Goliath. He was the youngest of his brothers and <clears throat> he was like the most unlikely person that could have defeated Goliath, who was however tall he was and he was just, you know, a scary man. But God still called this little boy, David, tending to his sheep to just drop everything and then go and fight Goliath. Not only fight him, but to win and to just prove that if God is on your side, no age limit can stop you. Exactly. And nothing can yes. just like nothing, no, no <laughs> excuses. Like we often use our age as an excuse to just get away from what we're meant to be doing. If God has planted something within you, why would you why would you then make the excuses? Why would you then say no? It doesn't it doesn't really make sense. And I know it's easy to say, oh, I'm I'm twelve, people are gonna be looking at me, or the elders are gonna be looking at me, people are gonna be saying things. Yes, people may come against you, people may, you know, try and stop you from doing something, but you need to just, God's will needs to be stronger than other people's opinion. And now we're going to be talking about the A, application bit. Samuel was very young when God had called him to be a prophet, and he also had the accountability as well, so Eli always pointed him back to the Lord, especially when we read that. Um, the Lord had caught him three times and because Samuel didn't have that discernment would you say discernment? Or? Yeah, he, he just didn't know the voice of God at that point. Yeah, he didn't know the voice right. of the Lord so he went to Eli and he kept saying go to bed you know and eventually Eli said it's the Lord so if you hear him speak again say Lord your servant is listening by having that accountability or someone that we can speak to they're the ones who are able to point us back to the Lord and um, really emphasize what he has called us to do. So I know that during my time um, on the committee being president, I would always speak to my pastors at my church and they would always direct me back to the Lord and what he's saying and that was really helpful as well. You have the example of um, Paul guiding Timothy as well and telling him what to do and setting that example and always leading him back to the Lord as well. Get someone that's older than you to keep you accountable and to you know kind of mentor you and things like that. Um, that's very useful. When I was on the committee I obviously when I started I was I was a newbie so I didn't really know too much of what I was doing um, but despite that I kept on going and then the more I learned, the more confident I became in the role um, and the com more confident I became in my abilities and stuff like that. Not Obviously, don't get to a point where you're, you think you can do it by yourself and not, yeah. not you know, leave out God. Make sure you get good at it, practice it. Um, if it's to do with like, I don't know, if it's like writing songs, practice doing it. If it's writing a book, I don't know, practice doing it. Make sure you research, talk to older people again, try and get as much information from people that have gone before you. Um, whether they are, they could be un younger than you and they've gone before you, but anyone that has that experience will, will be helpful basically. Exercise the gifts that God has given you. The Bible says don't let your gifts lie dormant. So continually exercise them and you'll see the fruit. Another tip that I can give to help you if, let's say you're, <clears throat> maybe you're like a new preacher or something and half of your, half of the congregation is younger than you. Um, you need to just have this sort of security in God. You need to not base how good you're doing based on what other people say or based on others' reactions. Um, so if you are constantly seeking for approval from, from like your congregation or seeking responses or even looking at facial gestures um, to give you the confidence that yes, you, you've got this, then that is the wrong place to be. Because if people then don't like it, then it will just crush you. Like you'll think that, oh, I'm not good enough. Um, 
and so yeah just come to terms of you know study the word of god know what it says about you know what it says about your abilities and just hold on to that no matter what it may look like that relates to people pleasing a lot so when you're serving god be careful not to fall into the trap of people pleasing it says it in galatians chapter 1 verse 10 like if you are living to please people then you're not a servant of god so choose to serve god wholeheartedly the only applause you should be receiving is from him because at the end of the day you'll be standing before the lord and not man so in whatever you've been called to do whatever gifts and talents you have use it to the glory of god and not to glorify man or self definitely yeah i agree with that and just as a sort of conclusion um I'll give another example of, of my experience. So in my church, I'm the youngest worship leader. Um, and that was a very big, like, it was scary to be honest for me. Cause I was like, oh my gosh, everybody's so much older. Like everyone's like old enough to be my parents. Nice. How can I be leading people into like God's presence? Like me, a young girl. But you'd be surprised how much you can do when God, when God, when you're walking in your purpose and stuff, because me being there like so many people have told me that oh i've i guess been a blessing to people even people that are like so much older than me like it shocks me they walk up to me and like oh my gosh there we go blah, 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 blah. but if i hadn't listened like if i had just looked down on my own abilities then that wouldn't have happened like not even the glory of like getting people's compliments but the fact that i've been able to bless people using what i've been giving um it wouldn't have happened if i thought i was too young and again, that's what we've been saying, you're not too young to do anything. So you just pursue it, just do it. Just do it. Just do, do it. it. Just do it. <laughs> there are many things that we as young people can do that older people can't necessarily do it and I mean physically and other things as well so we can so easily go out and evangelize you know we're young we're energetic whereas older people do it in their own way and we're all different and um, I believe it is important to serve the Lord as much as you can when you are young because there's so much that we can do now that we may not necessarily be able to do later in terms of our abilities as well and I'm not saying that God can't work through you when you're an older person but there's so much more that we can do now mm -hmm. as young people yeah I definitely agree and that made me think of a scripture okay Ecclesiastes 12:1, um, which says remember your creator in the days of your youth before the days of travel come and the years approach when you will say I find no pleasure in them yeah. and yeah that's that's deep I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, yeah. like, remember your creator when you're young. Exactly. When you're young, exactly. okay, not when you're fully married, <laughs> when you're young, okay, teenager, whatever. When you're young, that's such a prime area for you to be serving. You have no, you have no mm -hmm. bills most of the time, you have no children, you have no husband, yeah. Serve God. Or wife. Or wife, <laughs> oh yeah, okay, I'm a girl. Yeah. Wife or husband, <laughs> boys and girls you have the opportunity you have so much free time even if you may think you don't have time you have time okay exactly. you have time when you work full time you realize time. <laughs> you realize that you have a lot of time here so yeah just make them yeah. especially as a university student as well mm -hmm. um so many people fall into that trap where you know they're partying and they're doing all these things that don't necessarily glorify god yeah. and i believe as university students we should be using this time to serve god because we're essentially here for an assignment and for such a time like this so we should not take it for granted as well yeah well said well said so oh, okay actually i'll ask you one more question then so in terms of your age and stuff did you care about your age by the time you got to the end of it did your age let you down did it make you feel insecure by the end or were you like confident within your abilities by then um, i would say i was confident the fact that god allowed us to do so much throughout the whole year and he worked for us the whole year made me think towards the end like god you did it yeah. you used a 19 slash 20 year old girl woman whatever woman, 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 <laughs> woman yes. to um serve you and to advance your kingdom on campus so that was my main concern bringing glory to god regardless of my age yeah and you did it yeah exactly because she stepped out 
she was bold you know she let god use her yeah. and that's what you should do too i hope you enjoyed the video um i hope that it blessed you i hope that you apply what we said and that um you don't let anyone look down on your age I hope that you are an example to the elders and the youngers, um, no matter if you're 15, 12, 50, 70, it doesn't matter, it's never too late to use the giftings and talents that God has placed upon your life um, and as we've shown to you, it is possible and God does make everything work together anyway. So again, thank you to Ashika for joining me on this episode and um, if you're not already subscribed make sure you subscribe press the bell so you know when my videos come out and like it really helps comment it also helps and if you have any suggestions for videos and sort of insecurities that you have experienced in terms of your journey to you know walking your purpose and embracing your gifts then let me know i'm gonna link my social media below and um yeah i will see you in my next video Bye. Um, I pray. Sounds too over spiritual. Um, I pray. What? <laughs> I'm like.